Hello and welcome to our online video training series for Positrack Pro. In this video, we're going to cover some of the basics of point of sale, like creating an invoice, handling cores and core returns, and doing manual sales. If you have a demo or even a live installation, feel free to pause the video at any time to give it a try yourself. So let's click on point of sale from the main menu. And just looking at the layout here, there's a row of buttons across the top for click to exit, catalog, transaction search, and so on. In the section below that, you have the invoice and you have your customer information on the right. In the section below that, you've got part lookup and invoice totals on the right. So let's begin an invoice. Every invoice starts with a customer or account search up here on the top right. It will pre-fill with your default cash account. That's the way we normally set it up. And every invoice will begin right here in this account field. And notice that that account number is highlighted there. So that means you do not have to take the mouse and click in there first. You can immediately start typing to search for an account. You can enter an account number or a name. So I'll just start typing. If it were to find multiple matches on that name that I typed in, it would pop up and prompt me to select the correct account. Then notice that the focused jumps down to the part number from there. So again, I don't have to take the mouse and click in here. It's already there ready for me to type. So I'll add a part to the invoice and press enter to actually add it to the invoice. And let's add a few more numbers. I'll add a wiper blade. If it finds multiple matches on the part number that I've entered, it will prompt me to select the correct line code or brand. You can use the mouse if you'd like to double click anywhere across the line, or you can use the arrow keys and enter. And it will pause right there at the quantity. Enter will add it to the invoice. And we'll add one more thing. Now I have an invoice with three items on it. I've got a few options if I need to make some changes here. First of all, X will take it off of the invoice. If I added a part to the invoice at a wrong quantity or even a wrong price, I can double click anywhere across that line and it will drop down to the part lookup again for me to make a correction. So I can just hit two and enter to change that to two wiper blades. I can also make a price correction if necessary. I can double click. I can click in the price one time to make a price override. I have two ways I can put notes or comments on the invoice. So if I want to add a note here, that will print on the invoice and it's also searchable. So uh, let's say this was a, a cash account and I wanted to put the customer's name or phone number in there. I could, I could put that here. It will print on the invoice for the customer and it's also searchable in my uh, transaction search. There's also a way to add a note as a line item too. You can use the insert key on the keyboard and you can type your note. Enter, enter, we'll put that on the invoice. So if this invoice is ready to go, I can click finalize down at the bottom right. It will show me a preview of the invoice on the screen first. At this point, it's not finalized. So if I need to go back and add something else, I can hit cancel and that'll take me back to the invoice and I can add something else to it and then back to finalize when I'm ready to go. This is a charge account. So charge to account is automatically selected, but if it were a cash invoice, this would be inverted. So you would be able to select cash, credit card, or check. I'll go ahead and confirm that to bill it out. And it's back ready for me to start a brand new invoice. 
Just a note, if you get lost or get stuck or just need to clear the screen at any point, you can use the clear invoice button up here and answer yes. There's also a keyboard shortcut for it, F2, and enter or click yes. Any return on Positrack is a negative sell quantity. So if for some reason I need to return one of these parts that I just sold, I can use a negative one. It will prompt me to validate that return with a previous invoice. So then I can select that and it will put that on the invoice. Let's clear this. Let's take a look at how to handle cores. I will pull up a starter here. If you're going to sell the part with the core, if the customer does not have it there to exchange it at the time of this sale, you can just add it to the invoice just as normal. It'll show the core value, $59. Exchange is no. And you can see there's a core value down here at the bottom. If they do have the core right there and you're going to exchange it, you can pull up the number. And in the quantity field, there are several shortcuts we can use here. There's a, a list of them on the left side. But what we'll do to sell it as a part only, as a core exchange, we'll do quantity, which in this case is just one, and the letter P. And that will exchange the core. It does still show that there's a core value, but exchange is yes. It's not in the extended amount. And the core value is zero. Let's go ahead and bill this out to this customer and we'll show you how to do a core return. I'm gonna charge the core as normal, finalize, confirm. Now let's go back to that customer and do the core return. Again, any return on our system is just a negative, a negative quantity. So we'll do negative one. And the code to return a core, to give core credit, is just a C. So you can do negative quantity, in this case, one C. That will check for eligibility. If they are not eligible for the core return, if it does not find the original transaction, it will warn you. Otherwise, it will go straight on the invoice. And this is a $59 core only core return. Let's look at how to do a manual sale. In some cases, you may have uh, maybe some grab box items or just something that's a non-database number and you need to sell it out. The shortcut for that is F12 on the keyboard. That's also listed over here on the shortcut list on the left. So F12 will pop up a prompt for a manual sale. And in the description, you can type in anything necessary. You can type in uh, a part number, description, Anything you need to in there, I'll just type in manual sale item, and I can press enter to enter through these fields. So if it's something I'm selling out of a, a grab box, you know, grab box item, screwdriver or something, I can just add my price and I can enter through these. It will, it will make up a cost in a list. You can definitely type in to override those if you'd like, but otherwise you can enter through and then enter to put it on the invoice. And this will be your description, whatever you type in there. And that's how you do a non-database sale. So that's all for this video, part one of two in point of sale. Be sure to watch part two and the rest of the videos in this playlist for more training. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and subscribe on YouTube for more updates.